Today I'm going to show you how to set up Arc Smart Breeder. First off, we're googling Arc Smart Breeder. I should be breeding, and then um, taking that first link. Now, when you come to this page, you go, oh my god, what have I got to do? You're going to scroll down past all of these stuff, and they talk about what should you install. So the first thing you can do is, I say the first thing a lot actually, um, you can choose one version which is just the program or you can install it. So you can have a version that you just unzip and run the exe and then you decide where you want to have it. We can have it installed as a program and you know it'll create a shortcut on your desktop and those sort of things. So here's all the um, their discord information about what it does that, that extracts the levels from exported information and puts in a database. It's got bucks. <clears throat> Here's a picture of what you sort of get to have a look at it. Um, what, it what it looks like. How it manages to extract. A breeding plan. How you can look at their history. It's pretty, pretty comprehensive. So download the latest version here. That's what we scroll down to the bottom for. Bonk. So, um, man, it is, it is confusing a little bit. All right, so but the zip file is when you want to have it in a separate little folder and you want to run it from that folder without even installing it onto your Windows installation. The next one down is a normal setup that will go through a wizard and install it into your computer. We're not worried about speed but the other two. So I'd recommend getting the one that you install on your computer as it creates a, a desktop icon and you don't have to do that yourself. So that's just uh, that one there. Okay. So that's how you get it. Once you've done that, install the program. And then when you run it for the first time, you'll be asked what the li what, what library you want to create. So I've, I've created Ragnarok um, ASB is the extension that it uses for the ArcSmart Breeder database so here's my database here and if I go to library um, we can look at my Androsarcuses my Karchars my Desmoduses um, I've got one Rex in it, I've got one Griffin in it. And the, the way that it works is you make that uh, initial library and it'll be blank. Then you go <clears throat> into your, into the game. You go up to any, any of the dinos you want to export to the database and you hold down E and you go to options and in the wheel you hit export option and that creates a file on your computer. Now, Arcsmart Beta should be able to find that uh, file when it's stored in this default location. If for some reason it's not set up, it will error and tell you to set up the default location. You have to point that to where your Arc stores its database. Well, one of the recent, one of the places you can do that, I'm just gonna go up against this wall for a moment, is um, Steam. Properties, local files, browse, and my computer, I've got this on a drive called E Steam Library Arc, and then the actual those are the that's the location to go looking for the saved um don't know the exports, there we go. So Dino Exports is where all my exported data, all these here, are going to be found. You can actually look at these um, in like a text editor. Not that you'd want to, but but that's showing the ID of the Dino, the name, that it's a Managama that I've exported, that it's Purple Breeder, and imprinted to Rusty somehow absolutely no idea why it's imprinted to rusty but okay so 
there you go that's how you can use steam to locate your installation of arc i have gone on a separate hard drive right and you've set it up properly with the library one of the other things i do recommend is if you go to the question mark here you can hit check for updates and it will tell you if you have the latest version um, you can also do something else there what was it basically yep, that'll do just check for updates make sure the latest version when i hit import exported data it goes and finds all of the things that i have been exporting recently um and i haven't imported yet so we've got managamas and we've got dismodus so you've got folders choose folder which would be where you would locate that uh, import um, directory that i just showed you how to find then we've got move all the imported files into subfolder delete all imported files and delete all files selected folder. we're not there yet because we haven't done the import so i bulk import and i'm going to say import and update all all lists listed because maybe i think i did that many gamma twice so now they're all green they've all been imported so i can actually say move them all into the imported folder and then it always gives that little message at the end because it tells you it's done it now there's nothing refresh list there's, there's nothing um further to import so let's put it on the page of like the last import here if i go back to my library and i select managamas these are the managamas that have just recently been imported so i've got one two three four five six seven managamas just added to the database i want to see what the best combination is so the red black male which is good because it's the only one i managed to actually put put out to breed breeding with all of these has the possibility of making a very very nice um uh baby so you can also um export the dinos that if you wanted to show them off or show someone what they're potentially um, going to get you can do that from another uh, you can do that with this export to clipboard the infographic's pretty neat as well um where can i look at the infographic say paint that's the infographic there so I'm posting that to discord or sending that as a message to someone saying here's the managama i have got it's going to um this is what it looks like this is the color regions it has this is how many points it's got 